Alright, so, as of today, thank god, since we're all fucking been waiting forever a day, um, Victory Life, Victory is Life has come out for Star Trek Online. Uh, I've already tried out doing the Jim at R. Um, I didn't get very far, mostly because, well, I'll be honest, I always found it more fun to play the Federation. You know, there's always been a bit of a of a rivalry between the Dominion, between the Klingons and the Federation. Now you got the Dominion to worry about as well. So basically, elitist. Um. So let's see. What's the first episode? Because why the hell not? Head to DS9 as soon as you're able. Ah, oh, come on! Not even a, not even a. Voiceover? Okay, fine. You do that with every other episode, but you don't do it with the expansion after all this time. How quaint. Anything useful out of this mission? weird-looking weapon. I'm not even sure if I... You know, I'll be fair. I don't use most of these new weapons. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I don't use most of them. Alright. Good thing is, I'm already right next to it. I'm just more concerned about any lag that might happen. Everyone and their mother's gonna be online. Oh, they actually made the Bajoran wormhole a thing, and you can see from the Astrum metrics. Okay. Guess that can work. Destroyed you, Swiss, in the last episode. Tell the ambassador that any Jem'Hadar aggression will be met with deadly force. Why are Klingons always the assholes? Uh, it's, it's like it seems to be that way, right? It's just, I don't know why they do it that way, but I guess. This is Station Control. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Your docking clearance has been authorized. Several of our docking facilities were damaged in the recent... Also, Captain Nog is waiting to meet with you on the... Pro Why would my ship need a dock? I can just beam over, like most people do would, you know. I want to see, see a Constitution try and dock here. It's not going to be easy. Hello. Nice to be working with you again. I've been assigned to assist you here on the station. The leaders of the four major delegations have asked to meet with you prior to the summit meeting. Their offices are located here on the promenade. Yeah, don't I see the live stream that explained this thing? Because the transporter room was never actually shown in the show, but it's like on the schematics for the damn thing. It's actually kind of weird. You know, I haven't. Let me, let me see. Is it like do you have to still just walk up these things? Or you have to jump up. Yep. Yep. Figured. Still kind of. Oh well, better than nothing, right? Ambassador Odo is here, coordinating security efforts. Oh jeez. Open the door. There you go. I'll be blunt. The Herc have decimated most of the Dominion. All but one fleet, gone. It's all the Gem Hadar can do to keep our remaining worlds from being laid waste. There is no diplomacy with the Herc. We don't know why they're attacking. We're not even sure where they're coming from. I'm sure there are those in the Alliance who would be content to let the Herc destroy us. But where do you think they'll That's turn? pretty That's bad. Place. They breathe like cockroaches and they build ships like crazy and they still only have one fleet left. 
please tell me that and that one fleet is not just here. That is bad strategy. Starfleet guy is behind those doors. Hmm. The result of this summit could have long lasting effects. A number of our allies, particularly the Klingons, consider the Herc to be a Dominion problem. The Federation sees this as a chance to improve relations with the Dominion. Having allies in the Gamma Quadrant, a Dominion problem would be a great step. Didn't you almost lose D Space Nine? A shit ton of ships trying to keep the Herc back. This ain't just some Dominion problem. I, I don't understand. Okay. Politicians' logic, basically, right? Alright, who's next? And Romulan. Ah, oh boy. I want to know what these guys think. This summit may be difficult. While your people will see a path toward peace, I suspect the Klingons will feel the opposite. There is no love lost between them and the Dominion, or the Herc for that matter. The Republic position is one of pragmatism. A weakened Dominion will be easier to deal with, and the Herc are a threat no one can ignore. They haven't broken the peace yet, but it makes you think they're going to do it now. I, ugh, politicians. Tesla Jumpok has an office here. This is an office? This is a cubicle. I've worked in office spaces with more space than this. This summit may not end well. Most of the High Council sees the Herc as a Dominion problem. They are content to let them fight to the end and deal with any survivors. But there are others such as Martok who see that position as dishonorable. If they want to fight the war of their ancestors, so be it. But they will be doing so without the Empire. The same could be said for your Federation, should they choose to aid the Dominion. These guys are your ancient enemies. You're not okay. All there right. Are several Alpha Quadrant leaders here for the summit: Kai Kira of Bajor, Counselor Garrick of Cardassia, and my father, Ferengi Grand Negus Rom. I recommend meeting with them as well. Their worlds will be on the front line as the Herc launch a full invasion into this quadrant. You know, I have to admit, I've been wanting to see how, like, see Looks Garrick's like character. Is in his old tailor shop. Huh. Of course, he chooses a tailor shop. Hello there. I take it you're not here to update your ensemble, though. If you'd like a few suggestions, I'd be happy to provide some. In the meantime, let's talk about Sid. I'm sure you'd like to know Cardassia's position on the Herc problem. It's simple, really. There are many of us, and one we should deal with swiftly. Surprise? Uh, no. Cardassia was recently attacked by the Herc. We'd have fared poorly without help from our neighbors. Even the Lucari and the Ferengi fought with us. I trust this lesson isn't lost on you. If we stand alone, I swear I put too much emphasis on the portrait when it comes to that. <laughs> Will there be anything else? Eh, just for the hell of it. Once upon a time, when I was but a tailor. That was before plain, simple Garrick became a member of the Decapa Council, of course. Before the reconstruction and the Laconian War and the Herc. While I'm proud of the work I've done for Cardassia over the years, there's a part of me that yearns to be here once more. To be just a tailor, just a garret. Will there be... My father is in my uncle's bar. Hard to believe he used to work there, huh? <laughs> of course he's in a bar. I would be too, shit. I was wondering when you'd come along. I'm guessing you're here to talk about the Herc and what we want to do about them. It's no secret that the Ferengi aren't a military powerhouse like the Klingons. Most of the time, we've been happy to make a tidy profit from all of this and as far away from it as possible. That changed when the Herc attacked the Ferenginar. 
We would have been wiped out without help. And we didn't get it from Starfleet or the Klingons. We got it from the Lucari and the Cardassians. Even a few not cool ships showed up to fight. That showed us that this is everyone's fight, big or small. So we're in. And if the 34th rule of acquisition comes into play, well, it wasn't easy, believe me. I've managed to get the board of liquidators with us for now. Most of them see the potential for incredible profits. Alliance defense contracts can be very lucrative. The rest? Let's just say their self-preservation instincts are strong. They'd rather fight with the Alliance than stand alone. The Hurt have me thinking about adding a new team of acquisition. Am I Grimanasi if I'm kind of upset this is Ben, not Dan? I think that's kind of qualifies. Did you have another question? I believe the Kai is here, in the Bajoran Temple. Am I on? Oh, over here. I don't see Miss Visitor. Hello there. I suppose Admiral Quinn sent you down here to see where Bajor stands. I can tell you we're worried. The Hurt were a few ships away from ravaging our homeworld, and if the Dominion falls, they'll be back, and we'll be the first to free them. So, Bajor stands ready. We'll do what we can to stop the Hurt. Even if that means joining the forces with the Dominion. There's something else I should mention. I've experienced visions recently. A sign from the Cargo. I see a place I've been before. A world beyond the grip of death. It's the home of a former Kai and it's in the Dominion. I should also mention that I've seen you in this vision as well. I believe we're going to take a journey together soon. As Kai. I'm obligated to serve the will of the Council. Doing so leads me to many places, not just Bajor. That can be difficult, especially in times of war. It's been all of that in the last few years. First the Dominion, then the Klingons, the Iconians, and now the Hurt. There are times <laughs> when I wonder how Ben Sisko managed during the Dominion War. And he was the emissary. I've tried to follow his example in other places, but it's been a challenge. Something else on the the voice are kind of soft, isn't it? a number of special consultants to attend the summit. I know each of them well, and I can vouch for their knowledge and skill. Even my uncle Quark. Despite his reputation, his knowledge of the Gamma Quadrant is valuable. Just don't mention Latinum in the discussion, or the value of his information could rise considerably. Yeah, that sounds like Quark. I'd be disappointed if it didn't. Can't, oh, you can't just jump over the counter? Where's the fun in that? Wait, hold on. Didn't they bring him in for the voicing? Oh, come on. That That's just... I swear to God they, get, they managed to get him. I remember that, but I guess not. You skip one part of the dialogue and saying goodbye to the her and the Dominion forever. I miss the Tulaberry wine, but I get over it. But seeing how that'll never happen, especially as long as Kira still with me, I suppose I'll have to dig in like everyone else. You know what the worst part of this mess is? Odo. He's back like a kind of ghost haunting me. I must be cursed. I do. And I'd be there, enjoying myself. If it weren't for the Grand Nagus. Brother or not, I wanted nothing to do with this until he put Lucari terraforming tech on the table. Couldn't pass that up. It cut biosphere renovation costs on my moon by 70%. Even with Odo here, and the billion Herc trying to demolish everything in sight, there's profit in the wind. Finally, land that exclusive Tulaberry export contract I've been dreaming about for 40 years. Can I get you something? Uh, I've got more. In. Is 
Did it change any of this? Apparently not. Oh well. Hello. Oh, it's been a while since I've been here. I can't believe Quark still has that hollow moon in here. Something in Zeller said was wrong with it. I wish we were all still under better circumstances. Then again, the S nine's always been a trouble magnet. I mean, I can turn a game revolves around that, but My I'm husband a business. is risking a lot on Castle, political and otherwise, by choosing to get involved with all of this. Fortunately, he's the best damn major to come around after all, so I the best ever, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I'm pretty positive about that. Look, if I were this mirror version of me I've been hearing so much about, I'd have a lot more tactical advice to offer. As it is, my advice to you is this. Take a look around you. Think about all the civilians, the refugees, people who are depending on you. Protect them. Think about the best way you can do that if you can. That's what I'd do if I were in your shoes. Boots, whatever. Yeah, in that alternate universe where good people are evil and vice versa, Turns out the evil version of me is an admiral there. Real people. Really? Uh, I would have known. It's not like I haven't fought her a million evil different times in episodes. You know, battle zones. You know, mirror for events. You know. Rule of acquisition number seven. Keep your ears open and your eyes on the mark. Was there something else? Hello. It's been a while since that business at Korvac. You're looking well. My compliments to your CMO. As you can see, I've been recently recommissioning. I'm doing what I can to get things in order here after the business here began to fall apart. We're still treating casualties, and it looks like we'll be seeing more soon. Korvac. He didn't pop up anywhere before now, did he? I don't remember. I don't see this. The situation is compounded by the presence of civilians, both local and from other systems, even the Dominion. We have a number of refugees from the Gamma Quadrant on this day, and more are on the way. Clearly, the sooner we can solve the Earth Dilemma, the better. We'll be beyond our capacity to help the refugees soon, as will they do. I mustered out some time ago to start a private practice near Troy. Since then, I've worked on special projects for staff with all kinds of music and software. Even managed to start a family. <laughs> Needless to say, I wasn't initially thrilled with the idea of putting the uniform on. Still, it's very hard to say no to Kai Kira. And Kat knew that. And so here I am. Back on the front of an interstellar crew. Could they at least answer the question if they actually stay together? The fact that he refers to her as Captain Dax kind of makes me think that that didn't happen. Something on your mind. There's a number of refugee groups here on the promenade. Why should I speak with the refugees? Uh, I'm just wondering. Can use. I'm sorry, when you lose all your ships, you'd have a bloody well hard time getting rid of the enemy, too. We're lucky to be alive, then. There was little warning before the Herc attacked our homeworld. I sent a call to the Foundry. No Jem Hadal ship word of the Bajorans and their fate reached us after the war ended. The stories about one of their spiritual leaders. She came to the worst of us. On our prison moon to bring the wisdom of the prophets. So, when the Herc came, they decided to come and take it. Twin here. The summit will begin soon. I'd like to go over what you've learned. Interesting. 
Klingon and Romulan positions were somewhat predictable. I'm surprised by the resilience of the Cardassians and Ferengi. I'm also concerned about the Gamma refugee issue. We'll need to work with the Bajorans to manage the situation here. We should get to the conference room. Report to me there when you arrive. Is that an elevator I gotta take or something? Or... Oh, okay, so it is the elevators. here and no one started shooting could be worse that was a joke take a moment to relax speak with the others no really things will be serious soon enough i would have said the exact same fucking thing i gotta speak with them again come on i'm glad you're here i've been feeling conflicted lately all the worlds we saved from the zenteki were also home to thousands of dormant kurt by saving those planets, we also saved a great number of enemies. Those very enemies have since attacked a number of worlds, including my own. I'm still kind of surprised that Kathy didn't say, oh yeah, we're still in this world because the Herc. Oh. Alright. Yeah. Hello again. I spoke with Odo about the vision you received. He's agreed to clear a mission to the old sector. Opaka, the former Kai I mentioned, lives there now. Wait. What? Look, Kai Opaka died. Wasn't the whole reason why they had the. Uh... Maybe I really should have watched those episodes they listed because my knowledge seems to be incomplete. I believe so, yes. That has prevented her from leaving until now. Odo has provided us with data that could lead to a cure. If there's a chance, I'm willing to take it. Her wisdom could help us all greatly. <laughs> I realize this is a lot to take in, but I hope I can count on your help in return. Greetings. It is agreeable to see you, especially outside the confines of Facility 402A. Glad we had a moment to talk before the summit begins. I trust you relayed everything you learned from us to your superiors. If I may be so bold, I hope that you convey the need for cooperation with our sector. At least in matters regarding the current Klingon war. Hold on. Don't tell me that was. Hold on. The Verge. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out what's. Did they really re don't tell me they replaced I'd be very surprised if they replaced the guy that was originally there with Wei Yun. And they still haven't solved that question. I thought they got thought all the genetic material was destroyed. The gem clock is more of a political creature than he was. Well, when we were both a lot younger. He's not willing to face the truth. There are Klingons who fear the Herc, hiding behind politics and rules. Brethal waits for their worthless swords. Know this, there are still Klingons who know where their blades belong. We will not dishonor our ancestors and ignore the Herc. We will fight them to our dying breath in the name of Kalos and the Empire. If I can have everyone's attention. Thank you. Thank you. Let's begin the summit. We have... Thank you all for coming. By now, you should be aware of our tactical situation. The Dominion, as you know it, is on the verge of collapse. We've withdrawn to our core systems, and the lines are holding for now. Without your help, the Herc will win the War of Attrition. What about your outer systems? We're receiving refugees here from those areas we have one fleet left admiral that's hardly enough to defend the entire dominion i'm failing to see how this concerns the empire the recent battle here is a sample of what the herc can do 
If you think they'll stop at the wormhole, you're sadly mistaken. Need I remind you that the Dominion came to your aid in the Iconian War? Fair. I seem to recall Klingons placing high value fair. on debts of honor, or has that changed? Mind your tongue, changeling! I will not be insulted! But you were insulted, and a valid point. Was that an Aquarius escort? Oh. Admiral Quinn to ops. What's happening? Oh. We're under attack, Admiral. It's the Herc. Reading Herc boarding party. Multiple decks. They've concentrated in the damaged pylon. I hate fighting a Herc. Yeah, I sampled that with the Gemidar. Didn't like it. <laughs> a little tougher than I'd Need like you to, to be. Get to that damaged pylon section and lock it down before the Herc trigger an. Do I at least have, like, my, my alpha's right? There we go. Size pistol. Is your name Zul? Because I'm getting some Ghostbusters flashbacks. Yeah. Kind of with them on the face, facial expressions. I'm like, shit, what did we walk into? Thank God we have an ability to respawn. Yep. And... Oh, dead. Where are my officers? Oi! Get in here! This is, n this is not what I don't pay you for. Like, you're gonna shoot with me. You're not gonna stay behind that door. My character may be white, but she doesn't have blue eyes. She isn't going to be killed in the first five seconds of the movie. Yeah, it's official. I hate fighting the Herc. Uh, how do you get to the hangar? Bad news. The oh. hangar security shield is on the verge of collapse. If it drops, you'll get pulled out into space. So let's make sure that doesn't happen. You need to stabilize the power relays and recalibrate the shields. There are consoles near your position you can use to do this. But I'm not in the hangar bay. I'm, I'm, I'm in, like, uh, uh, okay. I'm not gonna get sucked down in space. Somebody else might be sucked down in space. Okay, I have to go upstairs. Okay. Weapon disable. It's kind of sad that my character is not quite as survivable as my tactical character. I don't know why that is. I would be the guy that would try to remove the unstable uranium ore from D Space 9. And B, why the frack didn't it blow up during the battle? Reset. You'll need 
to rotate the central column and extend the bridges in order to reach the next section. What what pillar are they talking about? Like, huh? Where is the pillar they're talking about? That's that, that's the question. So I'm not gonna get up there, but I, okay, let's see what moves. What moves when I do this? Oh. Not how this works. I mean, do I just... No? Okay, okay. That's... I don't get the purpose of this part of the mission, but okay. Stick. Ah! Why you gotta be so resilient? Why can't we be like most other creatures in this game and die in like five seconds? Wait, hold on. We're the rest. What do I pay you people for? Get the, you know, not uh, screw you guys. You're, I don't need you. All right, my loyal officers with me. Fuck you. Take my ball. I'm going home. I should probably eventually get rid of this transitic bomb. It used to be nice, but then, well, the game sucked. Can you stop changing things in the game? It'd be nice. Remember when transitic bomb used to be the bomb? Ow! Ow! Frack me! Ow! This is what happens when the SEO people don't actually follow me. Now you're with me. When I don't need you. Officers at. Follow me. Victory's life. In this case, it's no better uh, example. 
What do I gotta do? Fall. What do I gotta do? Stay with my officers that are stuck? Are they, are they stuck? Is that what's going on? Or they just screw up the game enough for it to be kind of weird. Start shooting instead of me. How about that? That'd be nice. Uh, can I can I shoot you, please? Appreciate it. There we go. How are you hitting me? It's a melee attack, it looks like. How are you hitting me from this distance? and several civilian vessels in the system. I've sent ships to assist them, but I'm concerned our forces are spread too thin. I'd like you to work with those ships to protect the civilians while the rest of us defend the station. First Dukan Rex will accompany you as a combat escort. Starfleet vessels, this is Quinn. Protect civilian targets. Oh no, which one was this? Lucy, I'm home. shoot anymore.
is why I wish I had my science ship. Grab well. I need to retrofit my ship. The damage output is such crap now. Nacrid assembly. What is that even supposed to be? Carrier or something for the Kurt? Station's weapon systems are offline. We need a few minutes to get them up and running. Until then, we're a sitting duck over here. I've asked every ship in the sector to regroup and prepare for battle. Let's hope it's enough. Eric, thank you for your intuition. Wow, they don't stop coming. Ow, ow, ow. Crack me. More beam than I can take this ship right now. Be six seconds instead.
sick of all these tractor beams. Shoot this one. Yeah, it's stuck. Oh, there we go. was the last of them. They're not picking up any Earth ships on long-range sensors. For now, at least. I think it's clear that the Dominion is prepared to work with you to stop the enemy. I hope the Federation is ready to do the same. Hmm. In the meantime, our fleet will do what it can to keep the Firk on our side of the wormhole. Tell Admiral Quinn not to wait too long to make a decision. This will reach the Federation faster than anyone would like, believe me. No oh, anticlimatic. Typos? Never. Congratulations, Admiral. Alright. It's the end of the first episode.